But what would I find different between the north and the south of Serbia? Well, definitely uh, there are big differences in the way they dress, the way they eat, the way they speak. They're going to have dialects too. Uh, uh, the cultures are a little different and the dances are different. Uh, in what way is the culture different? Well, uh, the southern part of Serbia was much more influenced by Turks. So we're going to see uh, the, uh, the most southern part of Serbia, for example, uh, they're going to have the uh, uh, help me out. What is the name of the cap? Or that's a tur typical Turkish cap that Serbs are gonna uh, wear. Fes, 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 fes. Like the, uh, the Moroccans have this. Uh, oh, the fez. Head, and then on the top is flat. Yes. And they have this tassel that it's a head. So the Serbs will actually, you know, you know, have accepted so much from the Turks. Uh, because they were ruled by them for 500 years. So, so the culture and the language it was affected. Uh, what really kept the Serbs from assimilating was probably the monasteries and the religion, and they kind of held to it to preserve their, their uh, uh, Serbian and Asian identity. Do people from the north and south, I, I understand there's a little dialect different, but can they communicate? Is oh, yeah, absolutely. It? Absolutely. Okay. They'll make fun of each other. <laughs> kind of like uh, Alabama and Cleveland or See, something. Or <laughs> there you go.